Hi, welcome to my video. I'm Jennifer Roberts. You're catching me on my YouTube channel, True Divine 44, BitChute channel, True Divine 44, The True Divine for both Instagram and Twitter. Any likes, shares, subscribes, follows, and tweets would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And of course, I love your comments. I always read them and try and get back to them as quickly as possible. Right, so this is where I put out the free content that is supposed to help support, guide and inspire your decisions on a daily basis to help you recognize the energies within you, within others and indeed around you to help guide you to your highest possible potentials on any given day. This be in general, take what resonates and leave what does not. Um, so we've got intense energies as per would be in these last uh, in this last what yeah two years three maybe decades maybe no <laughs> we are seeing the ongoings of rituals and the the sleeping people that are not aware of them and not aware of the long game and the generational torch being passed from these um, people in the shadows who facilitate and use the egos of people who are happy to be in the public eye in order to help divide, in order to help be the good guy, the bad guy, the bad guy and the good guy, the bad girl, the good girl, the good girl and the bad girl, and so on and on and on and we keep falling for it. So this is where we see the culmination of um, many, many rituals with big rituals in between those many rituals that has culminated into just like technology has had advanced. With that, the um, ownership, the hidden hand that has the tight grasp around the world that keeps infiltrating more and more of it via our complacency, we see that culmination of events coming to yet another big bang. So over the year of 2020, we went through what would be one big gestational um, creative ritual. Uh, the creation of fear facilitated many movements and the creation of distraction facilitated many movements to be able to go on in the background. And we are about to see the results of which. And if we continue to be distracted, those results, you know, seem to be more explosive by the day. So where we are being distracted, i.e., um, we are seeing that we are still being in the UK super distracted by um, what would be here the Eight of Swords coming up again, this fear, this locked in mind, this inability to see things clearly, um, this real, uh, uh, this fear mongering, this, this magical frequency of fear and um, oppression, con manipulation, really um, playing out to its fullest as far as being a great distractionary technique for what the leaders would be puppet to do behind our backs in order to sell us out. We are being distracted from the, the manufactured lack that is coming, the lack of food that they are manufacturing by holding up lorries in the name of Brexit, for goodness sake. We as the people need to be as a collective, regardless of what divides we perceive to have, what divisions we perceive to be there, to be getting together to in order to make a stand to relieve those lorries of their stand in place at the at the ports. Um, and to be able to show that we will not stand for a manufactured lack of anything. So we see that we are unable to do this with this locked in fear, magic control ritual. And uh, it's, it's up to us, only we can liberate ourselves from it, from liberating the mind. We've locked ourselves in this situation. We've picked up as a collective here as on the frequency of fear and locked ourselves, bound ourselves up in our own thoughts that have then manifested the very reality that they wanted us to manifest in the first place. 
And so we see here the only thing that is free from being bound is the mouth. And the mouth is running rampant where we have people who are awake and aware who have held their tongue and tried to be kind and not to look um, obtrusive or to be um, being a bit afraid of, of coming across uh, crass or, or harsh, you know, when people, poor people are being victims and being in fear. And now we see where that has led us to. And now we have ourselves in two separate echo chambers, the echo chamber of those that are locked up in fear and the echo chamber of those that have reached probably the point of whoever they're going to reach in the UK and are now um, having to do what needs to be done. And I won't say too much more about that. We've got also in the US, which is a huge part of this ritual, which is greatly going to affect the rollout of this global coup um, regarding how well it advances and how well it is achieved. And we see here that we've got people locked up and divided um, uh, between two sides. And because that division still focuses on one or the other of the sides, uh, there's a missing of the point here. And there's this locked up mindset of trusting certain plans, trusting the 17th letter, which was the biggest distraction of all in the alphabet, uh, that was given some hope that there was truth coming out and things being done. And yes, there are some good people who are getting some good things done, but that was in a great part in order to placate and keep the distraction very, very strong. Uh, so we still see people locked in this mindset. What does that do? It takes away the power of movement. People are fixed um, and set on defending this standpoint and are distracted from what needs to be really done and what needs to be really seen and what has been behind that distraction, what movements have been being made. We have the judgment card in a judgment card, the magician card in reverse on the bottom of the other deck. Now in the upright, the magician is um, the recognition of the as below, as above, so below at the meeting of the two, being able to bring down the planetary astrological knowledge of the stars and planets into how we um, use those energies and those lenses of those planets and stars within the material realm, learning and knowing how that directly affects the energies that we feel and vice versa. And the magician being able to draw down the right energy with the right tool at the right time within the right situation in order to create the best manifestational magic in the material realm. And where we see in the middle here, the guy in the middle being the conduit of these, we see this eternal balance here that this eternal struggle between the balance of the divine feminine to divine masculine to keep that balance and keep the knowledge of that balance and also the um, eternal struggle between the light and the dark it would seem and we have here which would be depictive with the red robe and the white dress of the the jesus character of being this um enlightener this balance point um being able to uh, bring the own, their own authority rather than being in recognition of outside authority with all of the tools that represent the elements on the table here to use as appropriate when appropriate in the appropriate situation. In reverse, we see that this is a hugely manipulative energy bringing the dark up, up from the below to the above, to the surface. This is where we see the true corruption and true um, essence of a lot of people that are surrounding us in our individual lives and more importantly on the collective stage. The trickery, the corruption, the, um, the distractions. Uh, what does a magician do on the stage? You know, they'll distract you, they'll distract your eye while they do the, the switcheroo. Um, 
And this is what has been going on throughout 2020, throughout all of the 17th letter stuff, throughout the sides stuff. And this is where we have um, missed the mark as a collective. And although a lot of people have become even more awake and aware, there are a lot of people, too many people that aren't. And even those who are awake and aware are still put in outside many of the awake and aware. Um, not all at all, <laughs> um, are still put in uh, hope and um, salvation in a person outside of themselves and are rising up to defend somebody outside of themselves, not realizing that either side is, is held within the very systems that Rome did not fall, you know, it has, it has um, grown, just like technology has grown um, in its um, capabilities. Uh, it's it managed to, you know, the first letter of my name infiltrates through that process, it's morphed and changed and infiltrated every single part of these systems that we are supposed to live by and we actually defend and fight to defend and and put our lives on the line to defend when nothing even the few good guys and good girls within these systems that come in to try and do something good they will either be manipulated and controlled um, into following the system or they will then see the fruits of following the system uh, or they will be out of it you know so we see that we have to wake up to the fact that nothing that is truly of enlightenment and truly of huge change will um will happen regard while under these systems and while we continuously get distracted by the games within these systems you know the the the, the games the, is it the roman games the greek games whatever it is those games you know where they they took pleasure in watching people get hurt and maimed and and the, you know that was the entertainment this has literally become a game of entertainment, control and power, and we are facilitating it by still being distracted. And it's a really difficult thing to get our minds around. But I want to put out there that while we're being distracted, as far as the as far as the um, I'm going to go into it in the reading. As far as the distractions regarding, I mentioned about the UK, but as far as the distractions regarding um, where they are pre-programming people to be, um, and, and believe you me, it is pre-programming, which is why you saw that play at the Capitol um, the other day. It was to pre-program and preempt the headlines that they were gonna put out to try and get people to go so that again they could be hijacked again they could be used as a conduit to bring in what they want to bring in don't be fooled by that it would be much better served if people actually you'll if you go back to the videos where i've been talking about persia where i've been talking about the threat of war there you know you might have thought i was wrong and it seemed like it was a quiet front believe you me things have been happening to try and amp that up to try and pull uh, uh, a reaction out of Persia and so look back at those if you feel led to do so but the, you would be better off right now um, you know because the with the first letter of my name my full name is Jennifer Louise Catherine spelt with a c um, the, the my first letter of my name and and, and the, the the first letter of my second middle name um, is you know the the first letter is you know harnessing the muscle of the the first letter of my um second middle name if that makes sense and you'd be better off saying you know what stuff your distraction stuff your pre-programming and going to the wall um literally going to the wall and saying no entry as people 
and literally going to the Canadian border and laying in wait saying no entry because that is what will be um, occurring if it isn't put a stop to. You'll remember back, if you've been watching me for a little while, the, the aircraft and those underwater craft that um, I was picking up on in certain shorelines, they've intensified and they are there both around Persia and both around um, the US water lines. I don't know enough when I'm remote viewing about, you know, the quote locations. And if I do, I forget them, but they're there. If you look for them, I'm sure that information will be coming out real soon. And so we've got coming into this, we have got, be aware as well in your individual lives, um, the, the, the tricky magicians that are really good at, um, at, at manipulation and, and, and trickster energy to oppress you um we've got the emperor card as the first card so this is relating to saturn time you know rules um it also is relating to control oppression um but it also speaks to uh the the time limit that we have here to experience things for a certain time and then the option to use that experience in order to transcend into a higher state of consciousness into a different plane. And so this speaks to actually we've been given over the authority um, of our own selves to these systems that have been um, hijacking time and, and being able to use the foresight and the knowledge that is stole from us about the above relating to the below, um, that they've been doing that in order to uh, preempt. And as they've gone along, they've gotten more and more intelligent, more and more predictive about our behaviors and have actually started to manufacture our behaviors. And so we see here that we are being asked to take authority over our own selves and not be distracted by an emperor with no clothes on, um, to not be psyoped by anything but our own moral compass by our own um, divinity and sovereignty and a, a mutual respect for one another for us to finally look at how we build new foundations rather than relying upon um, these corrupt systems that, that are being built by the first letter of my name in a great way right now, um, uh, which is harnessing many of the you know, secret societies that they've infiltrated <laughs> um, under the guise of being part of those secret societies and systems. Uh, we, we, we're seeing this, um, we're seeing the fact that we're going to see actually the, the follow on of um, the follow on of, of, you know, um, the, you know, a little bit like a 7-Eleven uh, plus two at the start, you know, the, the follow on of that huge ritual. With that huge ritual, more, more rules, more oppression, more control came in. Um, there was a certain, um, uh, a certain new way of us having to learn to exist. Those rules, those controls and oppressions never went away. And so where we see that we keep making the rod bigger for our own back by allowing um, the, 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 the false flags and things like that to, that are created and manufactured to harness our fear the psyops that are mani that are like the 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 succubus for our energy of hope, and um, that takes away from our own authority, from our own divinity, and our own um, impetus to to build firm foundations uh, in in new ways that are fortunate for the collective and rather than for the few. It is the number four, it is the number of firm foundations. And again, you know, bringing in the, the four elements with the emperor um, 
card, you know, of using and facilitating those in the right way, in the upright magician way. And so we've got to clarify this card, we've got the seven of wands again, but it's in reverse here, through our distractions of those that are harnessing, um, creating the rules and facilitating the rules. Um, we are seeing that we are in a defensive position. Now this is in our individual lives also, we are not only in a def defensive position against the so-called powers that be, but we are in a defensive position against people in our individual lives but it's in reverse now where if this card was in the upright we would be on the high ground we would be able to see where the attacks are coming from we would be able to see where those um where we need to defend ourselves and where we need to just you know let love and light sort it out we've we've we're not we're in the reverse we're being distracted by things we're being um steered away from what the real solutions would be from the real foresight um from the real knowledge that we would need to harness and also being psyops to, to um to to facilitate the demise and so in your individual lives, this will be also for many of you, this feeling of um, needing to bring some authority into your own lives. It might be that you need to back off from certain family members, from certain friends, because they are really harnessed by this locked up and bound up fear that they are just attack, attack, attack. And that is no good for your energy and it is no good for you manifesting and um, uh, showing your divinity and sovereignty. So it, it takes away from the energy that we need to be putting out into the collective. We've got here the strength card as the next card. So this is where we see that where the divine feminine is taming the beast, the lion, the, the active activator, the spark, the one that goes and does, uh, the one that makes the kill, while the divine feminine is, you know, the, in the hunt, is the one that is of intuition, of, um, again, we see this eternity, um, infinity, eternity, you know, whatever um, symbol on the top of her head now we see that in the magicians also this this um this knowledge of you know the the patience the the learning the the grasping of that inner strength that inner knowledge and the balance it's all about the balance and so we see here that the divine feminine energy balances out the spark of the divine masculine and even tames the divine masculine within enough um, and the divine masculines that you have around you if you're female enough for you to be able to really um, uh, tame even the greatest of beasts even the greatest of hunters um, that this compassion, intuition and wisdom uh, of the eternal is able to learn enough to know how to balance this energy out. But she knows also when to be able to facilitate that spark of that lion in order to put it into action. This is where it speaks of this isn't all about um, physical power. It's very little about physical power. It is more about and we've been sold as a collective a lot about being proud of war, being proud of how we can take over other countries as if, you know, especially the UK, as if it can say that it is doing any less oppressing or any less um, nasty nastiness to, to, to the, its people or other countries. Um, it can't. And so this is where we see the, the hypocrisy of that. But we've been sold into it, you know, and, and, and um, we've been sold into it to have be something to be proud of. And this is where this the, the higher wisdom is to know that there are greater ways to um, make a stand. There are greater ways to take action and action has to be taken in a timely manner, which is why I was saying go 
make that statement, go to the wall, go to the border and say, no, let them know that you've, you've, you know their plan. Let them know that you know what they are up to. Um, rather than be fooled into action with that divine feminine not being in an, in an exalted aspect of self and being fooled into going into action into these pre-programmed destinations that they're trying to program you into going into. And we've got the two of cups to clarify this. Again, you'll see this Leo lion, um, the highest sign in the zodiac, and you'll see the balance here of the two snake-like beings, the Kundalini energy, and the two cups here, the balance again of the divine masculine and the divine feminine within, finding that balance in order to act in a timely manner, in order to um, anticipate um, uh, uh, from, from both aspects of your divinity as and when you need to take action. It's with this balance that we will know what to do and when, and we will not be able to be distracted from the truth of what is really going on any longer. Um, this also speaks to having um, strength in um, certain partnerships. For individual lives, this speaks of um, the two opposite ends of the spectrum that, that many of you are going to be going through. On one side, we see that it's going to take... Um, some strength to hold off from taking action regarding um, a, a, a relationship that you've been wanting to go after um, with, with somebody who you really feel this soulmate connection with. Um, on the other hand, it also speaks of, um, which is a beautiful thing, is that there's some of you and it's such a relief and such a pleasure to pick up on that there's some of you out there that have maintained and are in these beautiful right relationships which are such a frequency match and this is your balance and so you found that balance within and you've you only get this kind of relationship when you've got that balance within and you meet somebody else who has that balance within or you both work on it together enough that you find your own balance in your own right and then come together as two holes rather than expecting another half to be your other half, quite literally, that is already broken to a certain extent. And so this is where, uh, you know, picking up on these energies that have worked hard enough on their own inner work to find themselves in supportive relationships that can then be reflected in this strength card also, where you both then act in your um, uh, uh, physical aspects, uh, who, whichever way you are more dominant, divine feminine, divine masculine dominance, you can act on each other's behalf. And this is so important and so powerful. And what a frequency to be putting out there. So kudos to those that resonate with this one, because this is this is a, a beautiful um, energy to feel amidst all of this and this is the beauty of life there's always something beautiful to pick up on there's always a certain beautiful aspect to be able to draw out of the readings and out of the energies that I feel of you guys that are that are there and even the people who aren't in relationship to see that you are in this relationship with self where you are doing this inner work where you are reaching and and getting either to a point where you're beginning your kundalini work or indeed have already been doing it for a long period of time working on finding this balance of divinities within you first and foremost is such a powerful frequency to feel and uh, and such a um it, it, it's just one of the best things that we can be doing here while we are in this experience uh, and the things that if we more of us were doing this and more of us were finding ourselves in relationships that reflect this and relationship with self that reflects this then we would not be talking about the same situations that we're talking about right now put it that way we would not be um, existing in this um, in this uh, density right now put it that way so you know for you guys that are finding a way to do that um amazing absolutely amazing um 
for those of you who seek to do this, this is here for you to do. Within uh, the, the greatest storms, you can find your grit, you can find a balance point. Sometimes, you know, we need to be challenged, it seems, um, that we need to be challenged by the chaos in order to start looking at that chaos within. I said that a long, long time ago. Um, and so it speaks of, you know, that we, we get this um, shock point and we need, we, we feel like we're falling off the face of the earth because the outside is, you know, crazy. And so we want some kind of balance point and it drives us to this place within where we start to work on this process, which is, again is super, super powerful. And so we've got on the next card, we've got the eight of cups. And this speaks to letting go and and leaving. Um, got leaving on a jet plane. Uh, so we've got this this way of um, it's going to be very difficult to leave countries uh, for a little while to go to other certain countries. If you want to do that, I would do it now. Um, as far as um, we see here that as far as the US goes and for my beautiful brothers and sisters over there there's a, there's a energy of disappointment as a, a certain person um, leaves in the games that are playing there as far as um, B um, he is it would seem you know um, as far as the rituals go as far as what I've picked up on and the rituals thus far it would seem like he would be um, uh, leaving this earth uh, in uh, the next you know months of this year I say that in that um there's this energy also of needing to let go of these systems because it is these systems that we keep getting hinged into, like I said at the start of the reading, and fighting on behalf of that has us in disappointment, that has us, um, uh, that has us locked in. So we've got the Eight of Swords here, locked in, in fear, bound, um, blindfolded to the truth, uh, psyops to, to the hilt and then at the end of the reading we've got the eight of cups this need to walk away this need to let go to take your passion away from that that you are emotionally uh, corded to connected to um, in order for you to be able to be psyopsed by uh, these two together um, is yeah yeah it's pretty it's pretty self-evident as to how that looks. Um, we've got here the high priest, sorry, the empress card in reverse. Ouch. This is where we see that when I was talking about B, it's not long before. If plans, if we don't make some changes, big changes here, go to those borderlines and don't take up on, don't be the fish on their hook. Um, this is where they see this female president. Um, this is where we will see this and, you know, pretty much, you know, they've got it planned like this to all, even have a vice president that is female. Um, this would not be good. This would not be good because none of none of it is good within these systems. And you let go of the no, of the feeling that it is. But um, in order to truly, you know, uh, uh, transcend and, and truly uh, reach a higher consciousness and a less, less density here. But we see here that this Empress in reverse is, um, is wrathful and um, hell hath no fury um, with, with this card, like a woman's scorn. And this is where we see, and we've known in the um, esoteric realm uh, that we're, that many of us are in, that the divine feminine has been waking up, shaking up in many of our hearts. And, you know, right down to the, the resonance of the mother, you know, increasing and increasing and increasing, you know, creating that hum, that draw for those that are aligned with and hear it. Um, 
this is where we see that this is where they hijack everything and we allow them to do it because we are still hinged in and focused on their systems. And so this is where they are hijacking the natural energy of the divine feminine, the sleeping goddess waking up in so many people and even waking up in nature. We see that they try and get in quick too and put in a, um, a, a feminine who is of um, no divinity at all as far as wanting the good for the collective. And so this would be um, maybe, you know, if this has to come to pass, this is where we are going to finally see people letting go of these systems. But of course, every time we let the ritual get a little bit farther, every time we allow ourselves to get hooked in and psyops that little bit more, the bigger the rod we make for our backs. And so um, this, this invitation right now, this window that is just this creek open for us to really limit this rod um, is, is integral. And our actions will decide on whether that is so. So that's the reading, I suppose. What else have I got to say? Um, let, da, 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 da. We have got, okay, so. The number seven. This is where we are with this seven of wands. Being spiraled by the attempted hijacking um, and the complacency of allowing it to be so spiraled seven layers down and it's going to feel like an elevator drop. And so it is so important to have this fortitude and this strength that no matter what happens, we can still be the, the magician in the upright. We can still be, we can still be a part of the liberation of this realm. We can still have our harvest and turn this empress energy in the right way up. There's certain growth though to come from all of this. There's certain um, aspects of, you know, different members of the collective, different parts of the collective are so um, enveloped and psyopsed into uh, these systems and still cannot see what is happening. And so whatever hardships come, we can rest assured that a lot of it is playing catch up. A lot of it is allowing others to play catch up. Um, that certain things have to be done and seen for people to be able to truly see, for people to be able to truly understand. And, you know, maybe just maybe if we would stop this all together right now, maybe just maybe, you know, the divine feminine energy, the mother out of true love, which sounds crazy to a lot, I know, because of what's going on, out of true love would rather save the many from repeating history yet again a few years down the line because we didn't truly see as a huge amount of the collective what was going on what was being done um, then that mother that energy of the divine goddess will do that will allow those hardships to be known and seen in order to have the lasting lesson. And so we've got that also, um, but to do the opposite of what they are pre-programming us to do is still very powerful, is still gonna show hands for what they are, is still gonna um, allow people to see and hear and feel 
what is truly going on. Um, so yeah, yeah, interesting day. <laughs> um, it is the lead up to the big day I know in America. Um, but there's something about today, 15th, it's the six again, isn't it? In numerology and this all this ritual you know was again this part of this part of this part of the ritual was done on the sixth wasn't it um the sixth six 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 i didn't mean to say six 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 there um what about the six something about it it's that seven again it's the six in the first month it's that seven again you know we have the opportunity to be the, the seven going towards the seven above or the seven below those seven layers it's our opportunity to choose. So uh, that's about uh, all I've got for today. I'll be back tomorrow. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for commenting. Thank you so much for sending your love my way. As always, I send my love your way for you, regardless of the outside distractions, to reach every goal that you set for yourself today. To, to reach your highest potentials, to attain everything that you want to attain and more, and that every kind of abundance follows you throughout today and gives you happy surprises with it, um, and, and that your energy can be balanced and that you can be of good health and have intent and good intent behind everything that you do. That's my intent for you guys today. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Whether you agree with me, disagree, I still send you that intent, that love, that wholeness and that balance. Mwah. See you soon.